The story of Elizabeth Holmes and Theranos is a fascinating and intriguing one, brought to life in this new drama starring Amanda Seyfried. The world works in certain ways until a new great idea comes along and changes everything. The Dropout begins, as many shows based on real-life events do, at the end, as we see Elizabeth Holmes being questioned about Theranos, the company that she dropped out of Stanford, hence the name The Dropout, to found. We soon see Elizabeth Holmes growing up in Houston, Texas. She's a bit of an outsider. She is someone who thinks differently and she is someone who is fiercely ambitious. She wants to change the world. And when she sees her father lose his job in the collapse of Enron, she knows she wants to do that on her own. She wants to be the master of her own destiny. What if you could test your blood in your own home? And what if it wasn't a whole vial, but just a drop? I'm going to drop out of Stanford. This machine is going to change the world. These kids don't overthink. They don't get bogged down about the way things have always been done. They want to change things now. When she goes on her gap year to China, she meets an older man called Sonny who has made his fortune from selling a software company. And she's inspired by her friendship with him, but also the story that he tells her about how his father died of a heart attack, but it could have been prevented had there been an early diagnosis. And so begins her obsession with trying to change the world through medicine and technology combined. We see her try ideas that are rejected. We see her quote Yoda at people and find that that doesn't necessarily get what you want either. But ultimately we see someone who is so ambitious they are going to keep pushing until they find a way to make it happen. You're making healthcare accessible to everyone in this country. I don't understand how you're doing this extremely complex chemical engineering with a high school degree. This technology is 10 years away. Your idea is impossible. So you just keep trying. Do or do not. There is no try. That's Yoda. Now, just like many of her tech heroes who went on to start companies, she drops out of university in order to do that. Now, that's not a spoiler. You can't have a go at me for saying that. It's called the dropout, all right? And now the company is there, we start to see the story go into a different gear because it turns out that running a company in the tech and biomedicine sphere is very expensive. So you need to raise a lot of funds and you need to deliver on the ideas. But that isn't always as simple as you think when the science and the ideas don't always marry up and we start to see cracks in Theranos quite early on. But what we also see is Elizabeth Holmes' absolute determination to make this work, pushing the story forward and continuing to push the company forward. If you want this, you have to dedicate yourself. What are you willing to do to get it? I can't give them one reason to doubt me. It's not even close to working yet. What are we going to show at the demo? We're going to tell them that we don't have a working prototype. Right? Our Series B closed at 165 million. Get the money! I know what you did at the demo. The demo was an inspiring step forward. At the heart of this is the story of someone who wants to change the world, someone who wants to push an idea forward at any cost. Unfortunately, when that idea isn't working, you can't just keep going, as she finds to her cost. And this is an intriguing story and one that will keep you gripped, but at the heart of this is a performance from Amanda Seyfried that really captivates you. This is a performance that brings together a vulnerability, a definite sense of arrogance at times. It's a way of combining those things to create a complex character that plays out on screen. Someone who is determined, someone who practices in front of the mirror, who changes their voice, who changes their appearance in order to get what they want happening. This isn't an easy performance, but this is a very, very strong one. And Seafried isn't the only good performance at all. You have Naveen Andrews, who you remember played Saeed in Lost. He, as Sonny, brings a real chemistry with Seafried. Laurie Metcalf really shines in episode one as Phyllis Gardner, the entrepreneur and professor who challenges some of Holmes' thoughts on the work of Yoda. And Stephen Fry is, as always, excellent. It does take a little while to get into this one. At first, it feels like there are a few gear changes happening out in the open. But once you settle into the show, you start to really get drawn into the story. 
Now there are a lot of shows popping up at the moment about things that are based on true events. Now that's how TV works. It goes in cycles and at the moment that's a fashion. There's also a particular obsession with Silicon Valley and big tech because it is the thing of our age. And so these stories are coming out left, right and center and there's more to come. However, I do think this is one that is worth watching. This is one that will stand out amongst a very crowded marketplace at the moment. So I think give it a go, see what you think and I think you'll get to the end and I think you'll enjoy Enjoy it. The Dropout is available on Disney Plus in the UK or Hulu if you are in the USA. We haven't seen a single contract. She is lying to you. You're in over your head. You're going to lose everything. No, I'm, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You don't understand the business. And you don't understand the science. Your company was endangering lives. That's it, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Leave in the comments below what you thought of The Dropout and any other great shows that you're watching right now. Don't forget to check out all the other ScreenOD videos and we'll see you again very soon.